Hello everyone and welcome to SE Geek, the internet's most passionate software engineering show. I am your host, Software Engineering Geek, and on this show we're going to show you how to set up Get. So kick back, relax, and let the knowledge flow in, because SE Geek starts now. In this video, we're going to be talking about uh, setting up Get after you install it. There is a little bit of setup, but it's you know nothing too bad. So the first thing you're going to want to do after you set up is set up a what's called the .config file, which will go in your home directory. Now under Linux, this will be you know slash home slash whatever your username, and you'll have a .config file. Now you'll probably have to go under view and uh, set to show hidden files because anything that's just dot whatever will be you know hidden file by default. Now under Windows on the other hand usually your home directory is stored under C users your username. So you know and same thing applies here you'll put your dot git config file in here unless you're under Segwin which I believe it has uh, a home directory under its install directory is where it looks but uh if if I'm not mistaken but uh you know the git config has to go in your home directory and there are a couple minor differences between uh you know things you put in the windows git dot git config and things you put in the linux one uh you know some of them, they'll work cross platform regardless but you know there are certain things that are more important for windows based one and so we're going to look at this dot config file here uh which this one is a linux based one but i think i have some windows stuff which you know it's fine uh pretty much most of this below this point you don't really have to worry about but we'll start with the core so core, we want file mode equal false. And this one is pretty much universal just because you do not want to be version controlling like uh, read-write permissions and stuff like that. You shouldn't be uh, having you know that kind of stuff in your, rever uh, in your uh, version control repository. Uh, editor, um, I use gedit. You can use whatever you want here. Uh, you know, Vim, Emacs, whatever you like. You know, set your editor. Uh, this is only used in you know few cases, but you know it's something nice to set up. Uh, these last two are pretty much Windows specific, so when I talk about the Windows one, I'll talk a bit more about that. Uh, next is user. You set your email and your name, which these go on all commits, so you know you have to set this up. Uh, color, which uh, I set all these up, which uh, all of them are equal to auto. This is so that when you're on the command line and you use uh, specific commands, you'll actually see uh, the status is like where you add something or delete something from a repository. Adding will be red, deleting will be, uh, wait a minute. Yeah, uh, adding will be green, deleting will be red, the other way around. Uh, so, you know, those are just nice to have. Um, merge log equals true. Uh, when you do a merge in get by default, and I'll talk more about merges later, I showed you a little bit uh, through get k, uh, but by default it doesn't give you uh, a log of what changed in the, the uh, get, com message, get commit message. And setting this to true will actually put that in for you, which is just a, it's a nice thing to have. You can trace things back regardless, but uh, having this set to true just makes things a little bit easier. Uh, next is alias, and I use these all the time. Um, and you can set up your own, but these are just very reminiscent of, uh, of uh, let's see, uh, subversion. So, you know, you have st equals status. So you can do uh, get st rather than get status to see your status, ci for commit, co checkout, br for branch, things like that. It just makes things a little bit uh, quicker and easier. Um, but they are optional. Uh, diff tool, which uh, sets uh, actually diff, yeah, and tool, which sets your diff tool. In Linux, I've been using meld. Uh, you can use whatever get uh, diff tool you want. Uh, same with merge tool. Uh, you know, I also, again, use uh, meld just for the time being. It's just a tool that allows you to look at diffs in, you know, 
a way that's a little different than get K, like the side by side diffs that a lot of people are used to. Um, with the merge tool, I set uh, trust exit uh, code equal to false. This is so uh, when you do like a merge, uh, if something, you know, if you just want to exit out and you, you know, it, it'll ask you, did it merge successfully? And, you know, you want it to actually ask you that and say no so that, you know, it won't actually uh, put that in a state where it thinks it's fixed. Um it's just something that you deal with with merging, and I'll show you a little bit more about that later. And I think I have another one here, which uh, merge tool keep backups equal to false. This is one I could move up there uh, under the merge tool as well. But uh, this is just when you you know do a merge, usually it makes like several copies. It creates like a an original uh, theirs and yours. You know, so that when you're using a diff tool, you can see the difference between them. And, you know, by default, I believe it keeps all those files around, which you don't really want. So setting it to false is just, it means it clears it out once you've successfully merged. Um, the rest of these, like the Git GUI tool and GUI and all this stuff, are just some extra uh, commands, which I'll show you how to create these, which you create in Git GUI itself, and it just happens to store them here. So that's the Linux configuration. Here's the Windows one, almost identical. Um, and I'll talk about these ones. Uh, the white space CR at uh, end of EOL end of line uh, equals white space, or white space equals that. It's just uh, when you do, I believe it's uh, a diff. When you like look at a diff, uh, sometimes, especially on the command line, it'll show you this funky character at the end of the line if you have a Windows uh you know one which this just makes it so that you know it ignores that so you don't have to you know see that in your diffs uh ignore case equals false this is also for windows because you know windows often ignores uh casing of like you know capital versus lowercase for file names which isn't always a good thing uh so you know usually you want this set to equal to false uh, another uh, difference is uh, in the merge tool, usually you have to set up the actual command, and I'm using uh, tortoise merge. This is the one thing that I actually use tortoise get for is for its merge tool, specifically on Windows, just because it's relatively nice. And, you know, basically you set the parameters of, you know, base, theirs, mine, merged, and all that, and it, you know, just goes on. I'll put both of these uh, .git configs uh, somewhere on the internet, probably in uh, a GitHub uh, repository somewhere, and I'll link them in the uh, show notes, which will be below this video. And that's pretty much all you need to set up Git. Uh, you know, a lot of this stuff is, you know, as I said, going through is optional. Like the main things, you know, obviously the user, the core. And the merge stuff are the things you absolutely need. Um, the other stuff, a lot of the other stuff is just optional, but that's pretty much it. <laughs>